Hi, LogDog321 here with VacBin.com, and today we're going to be doing troubleshooting and maintenance on the Shark Rotator Powered Lift Away Deluxe Vacuum. Um, so let's get started. First, let's talk about maintenance, then we're going to go into troubleshooting. Maintenance on this vacuum is actually incredibly simple. After every use, take off the dustbin, hold it over a garbage can, and press the button to release. I have dirt in here, so I'm not going to be doing that. Every three months, uh, take the dirt bin out, take off the foam filter, and the felt filter, and wash them in the sink and let them air dry 48 hours. Afterwards, put the felt filter back in first, then the foam filter, then the dirt bin, and you're all ready to go. At that point, though, you also should be cleaning the brush roll, which is very simple. For this, you will need a quarter. Take the vacuum, press the lift away button, and let it come off. Disconnect the hose clip, and press the wand release button. At this point, the power head is by itself. Turn it over and insert your quarter into these three catches here, here, and here, and give them an eighth of a turn until they're at the unlocked icon. At that point, you can grab right here in these little finger holes and pull out the whole sole plate and just take a knife and cut right along this little ridge right here. It was designed for a knife to go straight through it and it will cut all the hair off and grab the hair and pull it out or whatever is clogging it up and it should be ready to go again. After that, just reassemble the vacuum which is very simple. First, attach the wand to the power head. Then attach the motor to the wand and attach the hose clip to the handle. Your vacuum's all ready to go again. Now if we're talking about troubleshooting, let's start at the very simplest. If your vacuum's not picking up well, here's what we're going to do. First, let's make sure that you're on the correct settings. That's actually really easy to do. And you're just going to look at the handle of your vacuum. Make sure that A, you're turning it on. Um, that should be pretty self-explanatory, but I've heard of cases in which people are running it back and forth and they don't even realize you have to turn it on. So if you hear the vacuum spin up, the lights go on, you know everything's on. Next, make sure that you're in the correct mode. There are three modes on this machine, hard floor, turbo, and carpet. Make sure you're in the correct mode for you. If you're cleaning hard floors like tile, linoleum, uh, stone, make sure you are in the hard floor mode. Carpet and turbo, um, some people will probably get that confused. You want turbo mode for low pile carpet and the carpet mode for high pile carpet. Um, and just make sure that you're in the correct setting. If you are in turbo mode and you're on high pile carpet, then the vacuum is going to feel very heavy to push and it's not going to do very well. It's not going to pick much stuff up off the top. If you're in carpet mode and you're on low pile carpet, the vacuum is going to not run at full power and it's not going to pick up as much stuff as it should. So make sure that you're in the correct mode. Turbo for low pile, carpet for high pile. After that, after you've made sure that you're on the correct setting, let's check a couple other things on the vacuum. You should, if you're vacuuming carpet, put it in the turbo or the carpet setting, turn the machine on, lean it back, and check the brush roll indicator down here. It should be green. If it's red, there's probably something clogged in it. In which case, disassemble the vacuum like I showed earlier, take a quarter and check to make sure there's nothing stuck inside the brush roll, and that can turn semi-freely. If the brush roll is stuck, or if there's nothing stuck in there and the light will not turn off uh, red, you need to call Shark and they should replace it for you. You have a seven year warranty. If the, if the light is green, then we're going to do a little bit of disassembly and check parts of the vacuum to make sure everything's working properly. First of all, we're going to come back here so I can show you. Press the lift away button. Undo 
the cord clip, take the handle off, take the wand off, and so at this point we should have three pieces. The wand, the power head, and the handle. We can also take the hose off just to do a quick check. A lot of clogs actually come in right inside where the hose and the machine meet. So to take that apart and check inside there, turn the vacuum so that you could see this unlock button, press down and pull out. Very simple. At this point, visually inspect each end, make sure there's nothing stuck in here, nothing stuck in here. And if you can, try to get it straight, which I can't do on camera, and see if there's anything stuck in there. If there is, typically a broom handle works very well. Next, check inside the wand. It should be completely clean, well not clean, but it should be completely clear. There should be nothing blocking it. If there's something blocking it, once again a broom handle works well. Next, check the power head. Check back here in this L L bracket that's clear, and you can see if anything's stuck in there. In addition, if you bend it back, you can look straight in here and see if there's anything. If you do see something, um, take off the sole plate, like I showed with three with the quarter in this catch, that catch, and that catch, and you should be able to push it through with a broom handle and get it out, whatever it may be. At this point, there's a couple other places that we can check. We're going to reassemble the vacuum. Put the uh, power head down on the ground. Put the wand into the power head. Put the handle on top of the wand. The hose clip back into the handle. Slide the bin and motor onto the wand and plug the hose into the motor. At that point, your vacuum is all back together. And let's check something. We're going to pull off the bin, pull off the filter, and check if it's dirty. If it's black or like really dark gray, you probably need to clean it. And that could be where a lot of your suction loss is coming from. If it's not black or gray, take out both filters, put them on the ground, and turn on the vacuum. Put your hand right above the filter area, or above the motor area where the filters typically sit, and feel if there's suction. If there isn't suction, but you can still hear noise, there's probably something wrong with your motor and you need to call Shark. Let me demonstrate. You just turn it on. The noise is typically much higher pitched because you don't have the filter and everything muffling the noise, but um, that is where you can check. Now put the filters back in and open up the top of your bin. The top actually does come off. You just press this little button up here, flip it back, and make sure there's nothing stuck around the screen and the screen's not dirty. If the screen is dirty, take a wet paper towel wipe it all off and you should be good to go after that after you give it a little bit of time to dry but that is actually where a lot of vacuum clogs happen and people never know about them because that screen needs to be clear if all of those have failed and you still can't find the problem and the vacuum still not picking up well give shark a call you have a seven year warranty and they should take care of you uh, just fine if you have any other questions please let me know down in the comments this has been logan here from vacbin.com thanks for watching Hi, Logdark321 here with VacBin.com, and today we're going to be doing troubleshooting and maintenance on the Shark Rotator Powered Lift Away Deluxe Vacuum. Um, so let's get started. First, let's talk about maintenance, then we're going to go into troubleshooting. Maintenance on this vacuum is actually incredibly simple. After every use, take off the dustbin, hold it over a garbage can, and press the button to release. I have dirt in here, so I'm not going to be doing that. Every three months, uh, take the dirt bin out, take off the foam filter and the felt filter, and wash them in the sink 
and let them air dry 48 hours. Afterwards, put the felt filter back in first, then the foam filter, then the dirt bin, 